I was talking about the youth are ready to take the arms of government. We are ready to take the leadership of this country. We are ready to rule. Today is a decision making. The last time I met Professor Mills at the airport, many people insulted me and said I was NDC and many other things. But you see, if we do the same thing all the time, we will get the same results. But I'm doing different things. I'm inspiring all of you. I am not here to say all die be die. Neither I'm here to say all I come for. Neither I want to inspire many of you to say kill guns or airways. What I want you to understand is that politics is to inspire the people to follow you and demonstrate to them. Demonstrate to them what you can do and what you are capable of doing. Hassan Ayerga is a peaceful man. I have not gone on television to make peaceful adverts when I'm not a peaceful man. You all know it. I have been saying Hassan Ayerga and the PNC pledges remain as peaceful as we have always been. In 2000, Professor Mel saved the cause of peace and democracy when he considered defeat in no time after the second round. This was not the case in 2008, when my father sent the people to court on Sunday to stop the EC from declaring a Tamils as winner. Hassan Ayerga is going to win the 20th general 12 election one touch. One touch. I, I won the NDC. Shall we have some silence, please? Shall we have, Shall we have some MTP silence, please? To pledge and here and now that they will concede defeat to me in no time when I win the 2012 general election. I, Ayarga, will do the same, an unlikely event that the PNC loses the election. But I have not forgotten to retire my father and retire my two brothers. We shall retire the two of them and retire the elder one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Candidates, I'm afraid this is the end of the debate. We no longer have room for rebuttals. We'll now hand over to the IEA to continue tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kojo. May I now invite at this point Dr. Michael Ofori Mensah. He's a policy analyst for the Institute of Economic Affairs to deliver the closing remarks. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, tonight's debate has provided another opportunity for our distinguished 